Hello friends and welcome to my new bullet journal setup for 2021. For 2021 I am using notebook therapist Tsuki Fujisan bullet journal that they kindly gifted to me back in August. I also made a full review about this bullet journal on my channel and you can check it out on the description down below or by clicking on the card that will appear somewhere in the screen. Now you're watching me open it like it was the first time so I can show you what it's like to experience of unboxing a new bullet journal from Notebook Therapy because it represents for me a new start, a new year. So, a new notebook. If you're excited to see my content for 2021, please hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you get a notification when I release a new video. So let's start the spread for 2021. I decided to do some warm tone leaves for this setup with some gold accents and some black outlines to give a contrast. It's pretty much basic and simple and also minimal, but it looks so beautiful and so vintagey. And I actually really love this kind of theme for this uh, setup. 2020 has been a long year. And I think we all agree that we are somehow happy that this year is ending. Personally, I learned a lot with all of the pandemic situation, even though I was quite hard to be in a good place mentally. I don't want to get hopes about next year, but I hope everyone get to learn what they didn't value this year, so they can value on the next year. I learned that People don't last forever and we need to appreciate that. And also to value the little time that we spent with the ones that we love the most. Sorry, I'm getting a little deep with this topic. Uh, I'm going to move forward and talk more about the setup that I'm doing right now. On the review that I made for this notebook, I did calligraphy to write my name on the first page of this notebook but I thought it was too simple and it, there was too much blank space around it so I decided to do these leaves because it's a nice entry when you open the book so for this uh, spread I decided to write 2021 or 2021 to be clearly that this notebook is for this year and I did in this vintage font that I found on online and it looks so so pretty. I also will color it in blacks so it will it makes a mark on this page that we are on 2021. I also made this outline of the moon and Behind it, I did these leaves that I didn't do on the inside of this moon, just because I thought it it would look better. But I don't know. I think that the contrast with the greens and reds look amazing, and I did this splash thing that you are seeing uh, to give it just a, an artistic touch to it. So I'm really proud of this spread, and I think it looked amazing even though it's pretty much minimal I did also some uh, doodles of these leaves around the blank space and I pretty much finished this 2021 entry page
on the right side of this bread I did this uh, future lock so I can see mini calendars of each month for this year and I use these stamps that you are watching right now that I bought on Aliexpress and it was it was a ship in my opinion and I would recommend and I will leave a link in my description so you can find them easily and I use it for each and every month for this year I just didn't want to write all of the numbers with my own hand I thought it was pretty creative it looked good so it's it's also easier I won't lie but it takes a little to stamp the right <laughs> calendar on each on each month so for this you have to be a little patient For this year, I'm also trying to make these voiceovers without reading a script. Even though I started this video reading the script that I made because I was so nervous, I am now just watching the video and talking about it. So that's my goal for 2021, to make videos without writing and to think in English so it's more easier to make these videos. It's a train that I, I would really wanted to try for a long time. So for this uh, future log, you are watching me doing these leaves for for the headers of each month name. And I basically did this leaves and it's, it's really easy. I won't lie, it's easy. Just do a, a doodle and some leaves and done. I just did a shadow on each leaf so it personalizes a little bit my my headers um, I will stamp the initials of each cal uh, of each month in these spreads and that's what you're watching I'm also doing this vlog type video that you're watching me literally my table and what I see on the daily basis I decided to bring back my gold watercolors for this spread because I adore the classy, fancy look that just doing a little gold dot <laughs> gives on a spread. It's beautiful. I also did some dots with the watercolors that I used for each leaf, and I think uh, it's pretty much that. It's it's a pretty easy setup and I hope you liked it. The next spread is pretty much the same layout as the previous one. But the difference between them is that this one is in two pages and has space to write the events, birthdays and all of that.
I just have one question. I saw in the TikTok this video that a person says the names of the month and on on July, August until December it looks like it says Jason Derulo. I read Jason Derulo all the time when I do these calendars because it says Jason D. Jason Derulo. Is it just me? Let me know in the comments. Please, I need to know that I'm not the only one that reads this. For this spread, I decided to do two different spreads. On the left side, I did a movie, show, anime and book spread that I will note the movies that I want to see or that I saw. The shows is basically the TV shows, but I didn't have the space to write TV. Maybe I could write it above it and low it a little, but I just thought about it right now and it's a little bit late. Um, I also love 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 anime and honestly I never asked you guys if you like anime but if you do let in the comments your favorite anime so I can check it out or just reply if I saw it and if I did like it or something like that let's interact a little bit it's always nice to interact with you guys because it's fun I won't lie it's really fun I love to respond and to talk with you it's incredible uh, I also did a fourth square that says book because I don't I don't read a lot and I know it's outrageous but I want to start reading more in 2021 so this is a square that reminds me that Dano you have to read and I, I have a lot of books to read and I don't pick any of them and I should on the right uh, spread I did a need and a want page that is basically to know what I actually need to buy and what I want to buy so I can differentiate what really is needed and what is not that needed but I really want it and I think it's essential to separate things For this next spread, I decided to do a Unis page and a money tracker. On the left side, if I'm not wrong, because I tend to switch a little in with the sides in English. In Portuguese I am perfect, but in English I tend to switch right and left. I think I am talking about left, so I'm going to with left. On the left side, <laughs> I did the uni page. Get that is basically a, a page that I write all my grades on each um, subject and to write the, the final grade and all of that just to guide me what I did on uh, 
my path. I don't know how to say, but we say that on my university I have a um, avaliação contínua in Portuguese. I think it it means something like uh, continuous evaluation. I don't know. I think it's like that in the translating by word. And the funny story is that I I did I used a lot of water in this uh, two leaves and it played a little bit on the other side of the page. So if you have a notebook therapy or a 160 GSM notebook, please be focused or don't use too much water on these pages. They are they really are good, but not with too much water, so be careful with that. On the right side I am clearly drawing leaves and I did this rectangle so I had the uh, the middle masterpiece for my money tracker and basically I I will be tracking where my money goes or where I earn money it's hard to to explain because it was, it's the first time that I'm doing this so I'm just trying I don't know if this will work or not but I hope that it will because it's always necessary to know where my our money goes on a daily so yeah that's it For my final spread, I am doing an Instagram and YouTube ideas spread and also the milestones spread. This is basically to write my ideas for future videos and future Instagram posts and it's like a brain dump but it just says ideas. And the part of that says milestones is just to write the milestones on my channel or on my social media. So it's it's clearly a brain dump but for social media and for my content and I think this spread will be very very useful in the future.
Since we are making a social media spread, this year I'll be making some shoutouts of my followers on Instagram at the end of every video if possible. Today's shoutout goes to Polygraphia, thank you so much for supporting my content. And if you want to be featured on the Danos Bujo Friends shoutout, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Danos Bujo and check the highlights to see the rules. Here's the final flip through of my 2021 new bullet journal setup. It was really relaxing to do this lift team. I really enjoyed it and I think it looks amazing. I didn't think that doing so such a minimal spread would look so good. And I'm 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 really proud of myself, I won't lie to you. If you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and to like this video if you liked it turn on the notification bell so you know when i post a new video and i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and you have fun journaling stay safe